Hey, it's Andrew Hubbard, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your website, and then how to set up custom conversions so that you can track the results that you're getting from your Facebook ads. Now, don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to click that little bell icon as well to make sure that you get notified every time I release a new video. So that said, let's jump in and look at how to install the Pixel on your website first. All right, so step one in the process is installing the Facebook Pixel, and the way we're going to do that is using a very simple WordPress plugin. So you can see here on the screen, I'm in my WordPress dashboard, so I've gone into the WordPress admin area, and I've already clicked over to the plugins section. So go ahead, do the same, go to the plugins section, and then what we're going to do is click add new. So I'm gonna click here to add a new plugin, and then I'm going to show you the plugin that I use that's really easy to set up and makes it very simple to install the Pixel. So we're going to go to plugins and we're going to search for tracking code manager. Okay, I'll put a link in the video description as well. So if you want to just click down there, you can get a direct link. Um, but tracking code manager, search for that. Um, you'll see it pop up. It's by IntelliWP just to make sure you get the right one. And then you just want to install it and activate it. I've already done that. So go ahead and do that yourself as well. Install and activate that plugin. Now, once that's installed and activated, what you want to do is click installed plugins and head over to the list of plugins that you've got on your website. Scroll down and you will see tracking code manager appears. And now we want to just click settings. All right, at this point, we're in the settings menu for tracking code manager. We simply want to add a new tracking code. Now, again, this is the free version. You are totally fine to use this uh, for installing the Pixel and continue on the free version. There's no real need to pay for it. You can see here that I use it to install several tracking codes, but for just the Facebook Pixel, and for what most people are doing, you don't need to upgrade to the premium version at all because you won't need more than six different tracking codes. So click add a new tracking code. Now, I'm gonna give it a name, call it Facebook Base Pixel. Now we need to paste our tracking code here, so we need to go and get it. The way we do that is we go over to the Facebook Ad Manager. You can see here I'm on the Ad Manager screen. And now what I'm gonna do is click on the menu at the top, click All Tools, and I'm going to go to Pixels. Okay, so once you've got that, we'll see you've got the Pixel, and we want to click Details. From the Details screen, you then click Setup, Install Pixel. From here, and if you've just created a new pixel, a brand new pixel, at this, after you create the pixel, it will actually take you to this uh, window directly anyway. So it doesn't matter how you get there, whether it's creating a new pixel and it takes you to this pop-up window directly or whether you just do it the way that I just showed you, as long as you get to this page. Now what we want to do next is click manually add pixel code to website. And you'll see here it's got install base code on website. From here we just hover anywhere over this big block where it says Facebook pixel code and click to copy the code to the clipboard. Once we copy the code to the clipboard, that's we've got our, our pixel code, we're ready to go. We go back over to WordPress and in this big box where it says paste your tracking code, we're simply going to click that. Right click and click paste. And there's our pixel code, we've pasted it in. Now we just choose position inside uh, the code and then we go before the closing head tag, show only on device, we wanna show it on all devices. And we wanna add the code as a standard tracking, standard code tracking in WordPress, okay? This is not for an e-commerce setup in this example, so we're just going to do standard code tracking. And then where do we wanna put it? We wanna put this pixel on the whole website. Very important that this base code gets put on every single page across your entire website. No exclusions and we simply click save. All right, so we've got the pixel installed now. We wanna go and actually test it and make sure it's working. This is a really important step. So you can see here in the list, we've got Facebook based pixel, active, yes, that means it's working but we really wanna test it. So we're going to go to my website over here. Okay, you can see my website on the screen now. Um, what you can actually see here is that I've got a Chrome extension here and you need to go and install that Chrome extension in order to test whether the pixel is firing correctly. Now the Chrome extension is called the Facebook Pixel Helper. To install that, I simply right click anywhere up here on my extensions bar, click manage extensions, 
and then up here in the menu on the left, I click on that and then down the bottom left, I click open Chrome Web Store. You can search the store for Pixel Helper and you'll see it pops up with the Facebook Pixel Helper. I've already added it. You can, if you haven't already got it added to Chrome, just click the add to Chrome button that will be here where my rate it button is. You add it to Chrome and that's it. Okay, install it, add it to Chrome. It's completely free. It's created by Facebook. You can see here offered by Facebook. Um, so very safe. Uh, it's, the, it's created by Facebook for this exact purpose. So once you add that extension to Chrome, go back to the website and you'll see this little icon here. Now you'll see mine is grayed out and if I click it, it says no pixels found on andrewhubbard.co. Okay, that's telling me the pixels not installed because I loaded this website before I actually went in and installed the pixel via tracking code manager. So if I refresh the page now, let's see what happens. Now this icon for the Facebook pixel helper tool has turned blue and it's got a little green box with the number two in it. If I click that now, it says one pixel found on andrewhubbard.co. We've done it, pixels installed, that's fantastic. And is it working correctly? Yes, we've got the page view event, which just tells Facebook that I am viewing a page on the website. And it's got a green tick, which means it's working well, okay? So this is all you need to see. The Facebook pixel is installed, the page view event has a green tick, that's great. And meta microdata automatically detected Nothing to worry about at this point in time there. Um, what we can also do is check that it's the correct pixel code. So you can see this one ends in 11794. If I go back to my Facebook pixel here, you can see up here that my pixel ends in 11794. It's the same code. So we can actually check to make sure that we've installed the pixel that we intended to install. For most people, this doesn't matter. Uh, but for me, because I'm managing so many accounts, I always check, hey, did I install the correct pixel? All right, so that's it. Now you've got your Facebook Pixel installed. You can move on to the next step, which is setting up our custom conversions. Again, this is very, very simple, just like installing our Pixel code. So nothing to be worried about if you do get a little intimidated by the tech side. So what we're going to do from here, we need to find our thank you pages and our post purchase pages that people see after opting into our email list or after purchasing our products and services. The first one I'm going to show you is after people opt into my email list. So this is the page that they see after they actually enter their email and submit the form. What we wanna do at this point is set up a custom conversion so that Facebook knows, oh hey, this person just performed an action. They just converted into an email subscriber and we know that because they hit this page. So what I'm going to do is if I opt into my own list here, click show me how, type in my name and my email, and click download now. We want to see the page that I land on after submitting my email address. All right, here it is. So thank you. And now it says in the top, we can look at the URL here. So it's andrewhubbard.co forward slash thank dash you. I want to grab that address and you can see I've excluded the HTTPS colon slash slash and I've excluded the slash at the end as well. Now, all we wanna do is go back into our Facebook ad manager. I'm gonna click the menu at the top. I'm gonna to go all tools down here and I'm gonna click on the custom conversions button just here. So if you use double opt-in for this, this is a question I've seen a few times, you would find the thank you page that people see after they confirm their opt-in. Because what you wanna track is when they become a lead. And technically, if you're using double opt-in, they're not a lead until they've completed that second step, which is opening the email and clicking confirm. All right, so I'm here on the custom conversion screen now. You can see I've got some dummy events already set up. What I'm going to do is show you how I set up a custom conversion for that thank you page that we just looked at. So I'm going to click create custom conversion. And you'll see a window like this pop up. First, we wanna name the conversion. So I'm going to call it downloaders seven step FB add checklist, because that's what they downloaded on my site. So they downloaded the seven step checklist. I make sure that my pixel is selected. I wanna leave this as all URL traffic, and I'm going to choose a category. Now you choose the category that's most relevant for what you wanna track with this conversion. So in this case, 
It is a lead, a submission of information by a customer with the understanding that they may be contacted at a later date by your business. So this is a lead event. It's not a purchase because in the situation that I just showed you, they all they were doing were opting into my list for free. They weren't purchasing anything. Purchase event is what you want to use on the page that someone sees after they actually buy a product or a service from you. So in this case, I'm choosing lead. You can see there are lots of other events here, like schedule, if somebody books a call with you through their website, the page they see after their call booking is confirmed, that you might trigger a schedule event to say, hey, Facebook, somebody just booked a call with me. Um, there are lots and lots of different events. You choose the one that's most relevant. But generally, for an email subscriber, I choose lead. For a purchase, I choose purchase. All right, now down here in the rules, this is where we want to tell Facebook, hey, I only want to count this as a lead if they meet these criteria. And the criteria is hitting that particular thank you page. So I'm going to enter URL and I'm going to choose contains and I'm going to paste in that part of my thank you page URL. So andrewhubber.co forward slash thank you. Down here I have the option of entering a conversion value. This is perfect if you're setting up a purchase event and you want to track the value of that purchase. In this case, I'm not setting up a purchase event. I'll show you that shortly. But in this case, I'm not tracking a purchase event, so I'm not going to select that, okay? Now we just click Create, and you'll see something like this that says Success. It tells you you've created the custom conversion, downloaded the seven-step FB ad checklist, and we simply click Done. Now, you will see this will pop up and just show you the status. It says Status, no, no activity yet. So let's just hit that to minimize this, and you can see it down here. Downloaded seven-step checklist, no activity yet. To, check, to test this and make sure it's working, I simply go back to my thank you page. I simply hit refresh. And then I'm going to go back to my custom conversion page and refresh this page as well. Now you can see downloaded seven step FBI checklist. It is active and it was last received in the last minute. That means it's working, our custom conversion is set up and we are good to go with that one. Now before we move on, I'm just going to show you one more quick thing and that is setting up a purchase event, um, a purchase custom conversion event, just in case you would like to see that as well. Now if you're enjoying this video, don't forget, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell to make sure you get notified as well of any new videos that I release. So let's set up our purchase event here. We click create custom conversion. I'm going to enter a name, so I'm going to call it Purchased Amplified Ads, which is my Facebook ad training program. Same thing, choose my pixel or URL traffic, but this time in the category, I'm going to choose Purchase. And I'm going to enter the Purchase Thank You page. So the Purchase Thank You page for this one, andrewhubber.co forward slash Purchase Complete. This is just an example. Um, now I'm going to enter that down here in the URL, contains purchase-complete. Enter a value, you enter the value of your product down here. So in this case, $997, and I'm going to click Create. Simple as that. Of course, we would go back, do the refresh the page, refresh here to make sure it's working. But um, now we have an event here, um, purchased amplified ads. Don't know why we're seeing two. Um, but we have that in there and that whenever somebody purchases my product, it will trigger a purchase custom conversion event with a value of 997. So I can simply go into Ads Manager, see how many purchases have come from my ads and how much revenue I've generated from those ads directly. Okay, so that is it. You've just learned how to set up the Facebook Pixel, how to set up custom conversions. Go ahead and do that. Even if you're not gonna run ads yet, I highly recommend you go through your website, add the pixel now. Set up your custom conversions for all your different lead magnets, your different opt-ins and your different products. So you're feeding all that data back to Facebook. Then once you're ready to run ads, Facebook will have all this past data available to it that it can then use to help you optimize and help improve your results. So again, as I said, if you enjoy these videos, I regularly release new videos like this with all the best stuff when it comes to running Facebook ads and evergreen sales funnels. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. It means the world to me. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get a little notification every time I release a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.